ഹലോ എവറി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു എ ബ്രാൻഡ് ന്യൂ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് റേസ് ടു ഐ എസ് കറണ്ട് അഫയേഴ്സ് ഗുരു ആൻഡ് ഐം ജെറി വിത്ത് യു ദിസ് എപ്പിസോഡ് ഡീൽസ് വിത്ത് ഓൾ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് കറണ്ട് അഫയേഴ്സ് ഫ്രോം ദ മന്ത് ഓഫ് ഓഗസ്റ്റ് ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ബട്ട് ബിഫോർ ദാറ്റ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ആൻഡ് പ്രസ് ദ ബെലൈക്കൺ ബിലോ ദ വീഡിയോ ടു റിസീവ് ഓൾ ന്യൂ വീഡിയോസ് ഫ്രോം റേസ് ടു ഐ എസ് ആർ യു ഡ്രീമിംഗ് ഐ എ എസ് ഇൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ now you can stay in the comforts of your home and attend to the classes by experienced faculty of race to ias team online register now for the smart learning and race to ias will help you to achieve your civil service dreams now we are moving to the first topic of current affairs of august 2020 the electronic vaccine intelligence network or evin The Electronic Vaccine Intelligence Network is an innovative technological solution aimed at strengthening immunization supply chain system across the country. This is being implemented under the National Health Mission by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It aims to provide real-time information on vaccine stocks and flows and storage temperatures across all cold chain points in the country. Hyderabad Airport gets thermal scanner. A Hyderabad International Airport is now equipped with a state of the art thermal scanner provided by Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in coordination with the Asian Development Bank and funded by UNICEF. You can get more information by pausing video and reading further. Asray to combat COVID-19. Defence Institute of Advanced Technology Pune has developed Asray a medical bed isolation system to combat covid-19 by minimizing the spread of the disease it's a low cost reusable solution to maintain proper isolation of covid-19 patients by creating suction or negative pressure near a cell and further filtering and disinfecting the aerosol the product is modular and portable defense production and export promotion policy 2020 The Ministry of Defence has formulated a draft Defence Production and Export Promotion Policy of 2020 or DPEPP 2020. It's envisaged as an overarching guiding document of MOD to provide a focused, structured and significant thrust to defence production capabilities of the country for self-reliance and exports. You can read further by pausing the video and going through the test. China suspends treaty with New Zealand. China suspended Hong Kong's extradition treaty with New Zealand amid a row with western nations protesting against a tough new security law that Beijing imposed in the city. New Zealand is the latest to join a string of western powers including Canada, Britain, Australia and Germany that have suspended extradition treaties with Hong Kong since the controversial law was introduced in late June. China has already hit back by suspending Hong Kong's extradition treaties with Canada, Britain and Australia. Tensol Golf Resort Project. Tourism Minister Prahlad Singh Patel virtually inaugurated world class Tensol Golf Resort project implemented in Mizoram under the Swadesh Darshan scheme. The project was sanctioned under the Integrated Development of New Eco Tourism. and it is designed by Graham Cook and Associates one of the top ranked Canada based golf course and architectural firm massive explosion in beirut a massive explosion rocked beirut the capital of lebanon a country in western asia flattening much of the city port damaging buildings across the capital and sending a giant mushroom cloud into the sky The blast struck with a force of a 3.5 magnitude earthquake according to Germany's Geosciences Center. It was heard and felt as far away as Cyprus more than 200 kilometers across the Mediterranean. You can further read about the topic by just pausing the video and going through the test. Alternative Academic Calendar for Upper Primary Stage Students Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank 
റിലേസ് ദ ആൾട്ടർനേറ്റീവ് അക്കാഡമിക് കലണ്ടർ ഫോർ അപ്പർ പ്രൈമറി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് എൻ സി ആർ ടി അണ്ടർ ദ ഗൈഡൻസ് ഓഫ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ മിനിസ്ട്രി ഹാസ് ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ദ ആൾട്ടർനേറ്റീവ് അക്കാഡമിക് കലണ്ടർ ഫോർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് പേരൻസ് ആൻഡ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്രൈമറി ആൻഡ് അപ്പർ പ്രൈമറി സ്റ്റേജസ് വിത്ത് ആൻ എയിം ടു എൻഗേജ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് മീനിങ്ഫുള്ളി ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ദർ സ്റ്റേ അറ്റ് ഹോം ഡ്യൂ ടു കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ ദ കലണ്ടർ വിൽ എംപവർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് സ്കൂൾ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽസ് ആൻഡ് പേരൻസ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് പോസിറ്റീവ് വേസ് ടു ഡീൽ വിത്ത് കോവിഡ് നയൻറ്റീൻ യൂസിംഗ് ഓൺലൈൻ ടീച്ചിങ് ലേണിംഗ് റിസോഴ്സസ് H1B visa President Donald Trump has signed an executive order preventing federal agencies from contracting visas for foreign nationals who reside in the US. President Donald Trump has signed an executive order preventing federal agencies from contracting or subcontracting foreign workers mainly those on H1B visas. The move comes over a month after the Trump administration suspended the H1B visas along with other types of foreign work visas until the end of 2020 to protect American workers in a crucial election year. The H1B visa most sought after among Indian IT professionals is a non-immigrant visa that allows US companies to employ foreign workers in specialty occupations that require theoretical or technological expertise. Ibrahim Alkasi, theater director Ibrahim Alkasi, who revolutionized Indian theater and was the longest serving director of the National School of Drama passed away at the age of 94 Alkasi was remembered for his contribution towards modern Indian theater including bringing in technical aspects of the craft and making the NSD the premier training institute for theater he was the first person to bring regional language plays to NSD he built a strong institutional structure and brought Indian theater to the world Maldives Industrial Fisheries Company MIFCO India has extended line of credit worth 18 million US dollars to the government of Maldives for the expansion of fishing facilities at Maldives Industrial Fisheries Company the project envisages the investment in fish collection and storage facilities and the setting up of a tuna cooked plant and fish mill plant Pokali rice Two farmers in South 24 Pagana's district in West Bengal are betting on the Pokali variety of rice from Kerala to tide over a crisis-like situation created by severe seawater incursion into paddy fields in vast areas of the suburbs after cyclone Amphan hit West Bengal in May 2020. Pokali is a unique saline tolerant rice variety that is cultivated using extensive aquaculture in an organic way in the waterlogged coastal regions spread in almost 5000 hectares area in Alappuzha, Thrissur and Ernakulam districts of Kerala in southern India. Ammonium nitrate. The catastrophic explosion at Beirut port that has so far killed at least 100 people and injured around 4000 with an unknown number of fear trapped under the rubble was according to the government of Lebanon caused by over 2700 tons of ammonium nitrate kept in storage for over 6 years in its pure form ammonium nitrate is white crystalline chemical which is soluble in water is the main ingredient in the manufacture of commercial explosives used in mining and construction in India you can read further by pausing the video and get more information Defense Institute of Advanced Technology Defense Institute of Advanced Technology Pune is an autonomous organization under the Department of Defense Research and Development and has bagged first prize in Smart India Hackathon SIH 2020 held from 1st to 3rd of this month at Noida Institute of Engineering and Technology Uttar Pradesh This 36 hour non-stop digital product building competition was a national level competition for software edition which was organized jointly by the Ministry of Human Resource Development and All India Council for Technical Education India's first Kisan rail the country's first Kisan special parcel train or Kisan rail will transport material between Maharashtra's Devlali and Bihar's Danapur railway station 
the kisan rail will carry fruits and vegetables and will make stoppages at several stations and pick up and deliver them the train will halt at nasik road manmath jalgaon buswal barhanpur kandwa pitarsi jabalpur satna katni manikpur prayagraj chekri pandit dindayal ubadhyay nagar and butsar the kisan rail train with frozen containers is expected to build a seamless national cold supply chain for perishables inclusive of fish meat and milk dr pradeep kumar joshi takes oath as chairman of upsc dr pradeep kumar joshi took oath as chairman of upsc professor joshi joined the commission as a member in the year 2015 He served as director of the National Institute of Educational Planning and Administration. During his career, Dr. Joshi taught more than 28 years at post-graduation level and held many important positions in various policy-making, academic and administrative bodies. Girish Chandra Murmu, former Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, Girish Chandra Murmu will be the new Controller and Auditor General of India. Dr Mamu will succeed Rajiv Maharishi an IAS officer of Gujarat cadre Dr Mamu resigned as lieutenant governor of Jammu and Kashmir controller and auditor general of India or simply known as CAG is an independent authority under the constitution of India he is the head of the Indian audit and account department of the chief guardian of public purse Maharashtra government announces partnership with Google. The Maharashtra government has announced a partnership with Google for introducing digital education tools in schools across the state. It will enable 2.3 crore students and teachers to access the technology giant's blended learning programs that combine classroom approach with online learning. As part of the tie-up which has come at a time when online classes has become a norm due to COVID-19 pandemic. Google will deploy free tools like G Suite for education, Google Classroom and Google Meet to facilitate remote learning. Maharashtra is the first state in the country to launch G Suite for education and Google Classroom. Brew community. Brew arrivals from Mizoram living as refugees in Tripura since 1997 were allowed to permanently settle in Tripura. Brew is a community indigenous to northeast India. living mostly in tribura mesoram and assam in tribura they are recognized as particularly vulnerable tribal group also known as riangs in the state they are ethnically different from the misos with their own distinct language and dialect and form one of the 21 scheduled tribes of tribura lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir president ramnath kovin has appointed manoj singha as the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir President accepted the resignation of Girish Chandra Murmu as Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Murmu, a 1985 batch Gujarat cadre IAS officer, was appointed as the Lieutenant Governor in October 2019. Food Vision 2050 Prize. The Rockefeller Foundation has selected Hyderabad-based non-profit Nandi Foundation as one of the top 10 visionaries in the world for the food vision 2050 prize the recognition fetches nandi a prize money of 200000 dollars kaukas 2020 in russia india will take part in the multilateral military russian kaukas 2020 strategic command post exercise to be held in astrakhan russia The invitees also include China and Pakistan apart from other member states of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The Indian contingent includes 150 army personnel and smaller number of personnel from the Navy and Air Force. KV Kamath Committee. Reserve Bank of India set up an expert committee under veteran banker KV Kamath to suggest financial parameters for resolution of corona virus related stressed assets the committee will submit its recommendations to rbi which will notify them along with modifications if any in 30 days as part of the statement on developmental and regulatory policies released along with the monetary policy statement 
The RB has announced a resolution framework for COVID-19 related stress as a special window under the prudential framework on resolution of stressed assets issued on June 7, 2019. Leopard poaching. A recent study by Traffic India on the seizure and mortality of common leopards revealed that of the total 747 leopard deaths between 2015 and 2019 in India, 596 were linked to illegal wildlife trade and activities related to poaching. The paper titled Spotted in Illegal Wildlife Trade, a peek into ongoing poaching and illegal trade of leopards in India also said that the highest numbers of poaching incidents were reported from the states of Uttarakhand and Maharashtra. The Traffic The Wildlife Monitoring Network is a leading non-governmental organization working on wildlife trade in the context of both biodiversity conservation and sustainable development. It's a joint program of World Wildlife Fund or WWF and the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. Mahindra Rajapaksa Mahindra Rajapaksa takes oath as Prime Minister of Sri Lanka for fourth time. He was administered the oath by his younger brother and President Gotabaya Rajapaksa at a ceremony held at Kelaniya Mahaviharaya near Colombo. Mahindra Rajapaksa has served as country's president from 2006 to 2015 and he is credited with ending the decades-long LTTE war in 2009 during his presidency. Tabletop Airports Boeing 737 of Air India expressed on a special one-day fire repatriation flight from Dubai to Kodikod overshot the runway. Tabletop Airport is an airport located and built on top of a plateau or hilly surface with one or both ends of the runway overlooking a drop. The airports in the country which count as tabletops are namely Langpui in Mysoram, Shimla and Kulu in Himachal Pradesh, Pakyong in Sikkim, Mangaluru in Karnataka, Kodikod and Kannur in Kerala. There is no such term as a tabletop airport in any international civil aviation organization technical document. Indian Rhinoceros Recently, hunters killed a female rhinoceros in the partially flooded Kasiranga National Park and Tiger Reserve. This was the second rhino killed by hunters in the 1055 square kilometer park. The Indian Rhinoceros or Rhinoceros unicornis is a species native to the Indian subcontinent. It is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list as populations are fragmented and restricted to less than 20,000 square kilometers. Loya Jirga Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani has agreed to release 400 Taliban prisoners after an Afghan Grand Assembly known as Loya Jirga passed a resolution to approve the move. What is Loya Jirga? Loya Jirga or Grand Council in Pashto is a mass national gathering that brings together representatives from the various ethnic, religious and tribal communities in Afghanistan. It is a centuries-old institution that has been convened at times of national crisis or to settle national issues. Historically, it has been used to approve a new constitution, declare war, choose a new king or to make sweeping social or political reforms. According to the Afghan constitution, a loya jirga is considered the highest expression of the Afghan people. But it is not an official decision making body. Its decisions are not legally binding and any verdict it hands out must be approved by the two houses of the Afghan parliament and the president in order for it to be made official. Portal on Human Elephant Conflict the Minister for Environment and Forest, Pragas Javdekar, released a document on best practices and launched a portal on human-elephant conflict on the eve of World Elephant Day 2020. At least 500 people and 100 elephants are killed in the country due to human-elephant conflict every year. The World Elephant Day is observed every year on 12th August to spread awareness about the animal. Sunspots, solar flares, 
and coronal mass ejections. A massive sunspot group AR2770 was observed last week as claimed by spaceweather.com. They used the images of sun's surface from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory. According to the report, a few minor space flares have been emitted by this particular sunspot group. A sunspot is an area on the sun that appears dark on the surface and is relatively cooler than surrounding parts. These spots, some as large as 50,000 km in diameter, are visible markers of the sun's magnetic field which forms a blanket that protects the solar system from harmful cosmic radiation. You can pause the video and read further. Railway Museum at Huberley Minister of Railways Piyush Goyal and Minister of Parliamentary Affairs Prahlad Joshi dedicated a railway museum at Huberley in Karnataka. This rail museum is first of its kind in North Karnataka and second in Southwestern Railway after the historic rail museum at Mysuru. At Huberley Museum, the artifacts are broadly arranged in three sections at two cottages named Malabrava and Gadabrava and the outdoor section. India's imports from China rise in June and July. India's imports from China have risen to 5.6 billion in July, climbing for the second straight month, although imports are still down by 24 percentage from 2019. India's imports from China had fallen to a record low of 3.2 billion both in April and May, coinciding with India's lockdown on account of the pandemic. Imports rose to 4.8 billion in June and further to 5.6 billion in July, almost back to the pre-locked on level of 5.8 billion reported in March. And it is driven by the Chinese exports of medical supplies and work from home equipment. Lebanon's Prime Minister Hassan Dayab resigns. Lebanon's Prime Minister Hassan Dayab has resigned from his post in the wake of major blast in Beirut that has triggered public outrage. The Prime Minister's resignation follows a weekend of anti-government protest after the August 4 explosion in Beirut's port that decimated the facility and caused widespread destruction. The government was formed in January this year after his predecessor Saad Hariri stepped down in October last year in response to the demonstrations. Five ecotourism zones in Adu Atoll India and Maldives signed a contract for development of five ecotourism zones in Adu Atoll of the island nation. These ecotourism zones are part of the grant projects being implemented under the High Impact Community Development Project Scheme, which involves a total grant assistance of 5.5 million US dollars to the Maldives. Mount Sinabang Indonesia's Mount Sinabang volcano erupted, sending a column of ash and smoke more than 16,000 feet into the air. The volcano, which is situated in North Sumatra, became active in 2010, erupting after nearly 400 years of inactivity. You can read further regarding the volcanoes by pausing the video. Sputnik 5 Russia became the first country to grant regulatory approval to a COVID-19 vaccine dubbed Sputnik 5. Russia's vaccine is based on the DNA Russia's vaccine is based on the DNA of a SARS-CoV-2 type adenovirus, a common cold virus. The vaccine uses the weakened virus to deliver small parts of a pathogen and stimulate an immune response. Hindu women's inheritance right in a landmark judgment, Supreme Court has ruled that daughters will have inheritance rights equal to those of sons from properties of fathers and grandfathers right from the codification of the law in 1956. A bench of justices Arun Misra, S. Abdul Nasir and M. R. Shah cleared the confusion arising from the upper court's conflicting interpretations of the amended section 6 of Hindu Succession Act which came into force from September 9th 2005. You can read further regarding the Hindu Succession Act by just pausing the video. 
Kamala Harris. The United States Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden has named Indian origin senator Kamala Harris as his vice presidential running mate. Joe Biden has made history by selecting the first black woman to compete on a major party's presidential ticket. Kamala Harris is currently the US senator from California. Former US President Barack Obama has often described her as a trailblazer. Mega Labs The Council of Scientific and Industrial Research CSIR is working on developing mega labs to ramp up testing for COVID-19 as well as improve the accuracy rate. The labs will be repurposing large machines called Next Generation Sequencing Machines NGS which are normally used for sequencing human genomes to sequence 1500 to 3000 viral genomes at a go to detect the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Used optimally and with appropriate modifications, these machines can substantially detect the presence of a virus even in several instances where the traditional RT-PCR test fails. Hornbills A study based on satellite data has flagged a higher rate of deforestation in a major hornbill habitat in Arunachal Pradesh. Using fine-scale satellite imagery, a trio of ecologists assessed the changes in forest cover of the 1064 square kilometer Papum Reserve forest adjoining the Parke Tiger Reserve as well as a part of the Assam affected by illegal felling and ethnic conflict. The results show the loss and degradation of critical hornbill habitat in the biologically rich forest of the Indian Eastern Himalaya. Transparent Taxation Honoring the Honest Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a platform for Transparent Taxation Honoring the Honest. The platform of Transparent Taxation Honoring the Honest has been launched to meet the requirements of the 21st century taxation system. The platform has major reforms like faceless assessment, faceless appeal and taxpayers charter. Faceless assessment and taxpayers charter has come into force from 13th August while the facility of faceless appeal will be available for citizens across the country from 25th September that is Deen Dayal Ubadhyay's birth anniversary. Israel UAE peace deal Israel and United Arab Emirates has reached a deal to normalize relations with Israel agreeing to suspend its controversial plans to annex parts of the occupied West Bank. With this announcement, the UAE became the first Gulf Arab state to do so and only the third Arab nation to have active diplomatic ties with Israel. Under the deal, Israel would suspend its plans to annex large parts of the occupied West Bank. Independence Day 2020 India celebrated its 74th year of independence on August 15, 2020, which means India has achieved 73 years of freedom. India gained its independence on August 15, 1947 after being under British Raj. Several freedom fighters fought to free the country from British rule. Space Bricks In a significant step towards space exploration, a team of researchers from ISRO and Indian Institute of Science Bengaluru has developed a sustainable process to make space bricks on the lunar surface. The process enables making lot bearing bricks by using lunar soil, bacteria and guar beans. Portals Region Defense Minister Rajnath Singh launched a Portals Region which is a one-stop shop online portal that provides access to the vendors to take up items for indigenization. Development of defense production has developed an indigenization portal, regiondefense.gov.in as opportunities for making India in defense. Aircraft Accident Investigation Bureau or AAIB AAIB ordered investigation into the Air India Express aircraft crash at Kolkata Airport. 
the prop of the aircraft crash will be done by a five member team headed by captain ss chaha the aaib is a division of the ministry of civil aviation government of india which investigates aircraft accidents and incidents in india greater malay connectivity project or gmcp external affairs minister dr s jayashankar has announced that india will fund the implementation of greater mali connectivity project through a 400 million dollar line of credit and 100 million dollar grant the 6.7 kilometer greater mali connectivity project will be the largest civilian infrastructure project in maldives connecting mali with three neighboring islands national digital health mission national digital health mission Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched the National Digital Health Mission. It seeks to provide an efficient and affordable health coverage through a wide range of data and infrastructure services. The key feature of this mission is the technology part. It will leverage open digital systems to provide high quality healthcare for all. Atal Step Up Module After a successful launch of a unique initiative to take artificial intelligence to schools, Through Atal Modules Atal Innovative Mission, Niti Aayog in collaboration with NASCOM have launched the Atal Step Up Module for students on the eve of India's Independence Day in order to drive AI education and innovation to the next level in schools across the country. This module is the next step in bringing AI to Indian classrooms and is a successor to AI based module. Sarabhai Crater Chandrayaan 2 has captured images of the moon and one of the craters has been named after Vikram Sarabhai the father of the Indian space program the Sarabhai crater is around 250 to 300 kilometers east of the crater where the Apollo 17 and Luna 21 missions had landed you can read further about dr vikram sarabhai by pausing the video Mauritius oil spill A week after Mauritius declared a national emergency over an oil spill near its coast Prime Minister Pravin Jagnath announced it had been cleaned up A Japanese ship named MV Wakashio which is owned by Nagashiki Shipping and operated by Mitsui Oske Lines Limited struck a coral reef resulting in an oil spill of over 1000 tons into the Indian Ocean The ship was carrying an estimated 4000 tons of oil. The accident had taken place near two environmentally protected marine ecosystems and the Blue Bay Marine Park Reserve which is a wetland of international importance. You can read further regarding the oil spills by pausing the video. Just a reminder, are you dreaming of IAS in 2021? Here we have race to IAS with UPSC Marathon 2021. Make use of this grand opportunity for achieving your civil service dreams. Project Lion and Project Dolphin. The Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that the center will soon launch Project Lion and Project Dolphin for the biodiversity conservation of these species on the lines of and to replicate the success of project tiger launched in 1973 asiatic lions are confined to the gur national park and its surrounding environs in gujarat saurashtra the gujarat's forest department suggested their population has increased by 29 percentage from 523 in 2015 to 674 in 2020 gangetic dolphin The Ganges river dolphin is primarily found in the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers and their tributaries in India, Bangladesh and Nepal. The Ganges river dolphin has been recognized by the government of India as its national aquatic animal and is the official animal of the Indian city of Guwahati. Saliva direct. Saliva direct. A saliva based laboratory diagnostic test developed by researchers at the Yale School of Public Health to determine whether someone is infected with the novel coronavirus has been granted an emergency use authorization by the US Food and Drug 
administration. The method called saliva direct is being further validated as a test for asymptomatic individuals through a program that tests players and staff from the National Basketball Association (NBA). It is simpler, less expensive, and less invasive than the traditional method of such testing, known as nasopharyngeal swabbing. Chinese minister makes rare visit to Tibet border. China's foreign minister and state councillor Wang Yi has made a rare visit to inspect border infrastructure in Tibet, which the Chinese media has linked to the recent tensions along the line of actual control with India. Mr. Wang met with the top Communist Party official in Tibet, Wu Yingche, as well as the chairman of the Tibet Autonomous Region government. Kerala and called for efforts to safeguard national security. Tibet is a region in East Asia covering much of the Tibetan plateau spanning about 2.5 million square kilometers. It is a traditional homeland of the Tibetan people as well as some other ethnic groups such as Mwanpa, Tama, Kyan, Sherpa and Laba peoples and is now also inhabited by considerable numbers of Han, Chinese and Hui people. It is considered as the highest region on earth with an average elevation of 5000 meter. World's tallest fire bridge. Indian Railways is constructing the world's tallest fire bridge in Manipur. The bridge which is being constructed across river Ijai near Noni is an engineering marvel because the tallest fire bridge will be 141 meter. It will surpass the existing record of 139 meter of Mala Rizka Viaduct, Montenegro in Europe. The Manipur Bridge is located at the hilly terrain of Maranching village in Noni district about 65 km west of Imphal. Dejo Day The Union Territory of Puducherry celebrated its 59th anniversary of the Dejo Day. Puducherry became independent by virtue of a referendum on October 18, 1954. But the Treaty of Session signed between the French and Indian governments was ratified by the French Parliament only on August 16, 1962. So on that day, the de jure was effected. Swastia Tribal Affairs Minister Arjun Munda inaugurated the e-portal on tribal health and nutrition named Swastia. The portal provides all health and nutrition related information of the tribal population of India on a single platform. Swastia will also curate innovative practices, case studies and best practices collected from different parts of India to facilitate the exchange of evidence, expertise and experiences. BRICS Anti-Drug Working Group the fourth session of the BRICS Anti-Drug Working Group is comprising of Brazil, Russia, China and South Africa and India was Brazil, Russia, China, South Africa and India was held through a video conference. The session was chaired by The session was chaired by Russia this year. The meeting focused on misuse of darknet and other advanced technologies for drug trafficking. India called for real-time information sharing among BRICS nations to tackle the drug menace. The Highest Temperature on Earth One of the hottest air temperatures recorded anywhere on the planet in at least a century and possibly ever was reached at Death Valley in California's Mojave Desert where it soared to 130 Fahrenheit or 54.4 degrees Celsius. An automated observation system run by the U.S. National Weather Service in the valley's sparsely populated Farnas Creek reported the record at 3.41 p.m. at the crest of an extreme heat wave, a more frequent occurrence due to climate change. Death Valley is a desert valley in eastern California in the northern Mojave Desert, bordering the Great Basin Desert. It is one of the hottest places on Earth along with deserts in the Middle East and the Sahara. Its Badwater Basin is the point of lowest elevation in North America at 282 feet below sea level. With this, we are winding up this episode. Again, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the new updates regarding civil service from Race to IAS team.
also we are everywhere we are on facebook instagram and twitter and now we are on telegram too look in the description and join us everywhere see you later with another episode of race to is current affairs guru